What up, YouTube? This is your boy, Jamie in the city, coming at you in Berkeley, Albany, California. I say Berkeley, Albany because I'm on my way to the gym, which is in El Cerrito, technically. Well, it is in El Cerrito, not technically, it is. Um, <clears throat> for everybody, my videos are boring, whatever. Losing subscribers, I don't Whatever, whatever. You subscribe to my channel if you don't. It does help me to subscribe to my channel, but if you don't feel like my videos are entertaining for you enough, then I guess watch other content somewhere else. But anyways, um, I just want to make this video because, all right, I'm trying to get through this light. People just don't signal nothing. This is like, <clears throat> in <clears throat> all of California, <clears throat> In all of California, there's just this careless attitude. And then you get the over judgment by wherever, like you go to a nicer area. Even if you go to a ghetto area, people will judge the hell out of you, especially if you're a white boy, white person going into a predominantly black area. Predominantly kind of ghetto black area, like East Oakland. Sometimes you get these, well, I say East Oakland motherfuckers. Most of Oakland people don't give a fuck, honestly. Especially ghetto here, so I take that back. But, um, <clears throat> how, how is America considered a first world country? And we got all this corruption and all this. <sighs> I'm pretty sure most all countries have their corruption in one way or another, but I don't really understand how America is considered a first world country and we got all this like, it's crazy. Maybe I just see it more often than in other states, but yeah, California, it's like, it promotes homelessness, it promotes drug addiction. They, 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 you know, they're trying to say that they're trying to do something different. But in reality, it doesn't seem like they're doing jack shit. And the politicians and the higher up government politicians and stuff, they don't do jack shit about the problems in uh, California, I could say that. They don't mind homeless people fucking <clears throat> shooting up drugs right in front of fucking elementary schools, shitting on the sidewalk and pooping and peeing and stealing people's shit and breaking into people's car and doing all this illegal shit. And for my father, you know, he does so much illegal shit, it's not even funny. He'll literally, I've seen him in action. He'll go on somebody's property and I don't know what the hell goes through his mind, but he'll go on somebody's property and steal their shit. A chair, a table. Um, he'll go on somebody in somebody's parking lot and steal their shit. Literally... A, somebody's tricycle, a kid's tricycle, he stole it somewhere. There's no way it was put out on the sidewalk and somebody just left it there. That was some kid's fucking tricycle he stole. And the government allows that. But God forbid, you're just trying to manage getting through this societal st standards, you know, you try to pay your way as far as you can, as much as you can, and you still get shit on by the police, you get shit on by other people, you go into grocery stores, you go into retail stores, you get shit on here, you get shit on there, like this morning, as I'm getting ready for the gym, I wanted to do that in the part in the Safeway parking lot rather than in the gym parking lot, that way I could just grab my stuff and go, but um, there was, I don't know, at least 20 other fucking parking spots. She could have parked her car. She decides to park next to me and give me this dirty ass fucking look. Like, what What did I do? And you decided to park right next to me and give me a dirty look. Like, what, what did I do to you? I don't know. I really hope this election, man, it changes things because... Man, the last four years has been a very fucking struggle. No 
The only time it was decent for me is when I was working for Melton Truck Lines. And for some reason, because I left on my own, on good terms, returned the truck and everything, cleared it out. There was some trash and, you know, hair, uh, <coughs> dog hair. But other than that, I, I brought it back basically pretty much in the, almost in the same condition I picked it up out in. And, <coughs> and because I took too, too long coming back and I told them I'm dealing with legal shit, which I guess I shouldn't have because it fucking made, uh, <coughs> I burnt my own, burned my bridge with that. I can't go back to Melton right now. And they're telling me that they want me to get more experience. Six months with another company. When they tell you that, where do they expect you to get the six months on? If you guys aren't willing to hire me, where, where, <laughs> and you guys are a first experienced company, or you hire people fresh out of fucking CDL school, where do you expect somebody to get the experience? Where do you expect the six months to come out of fucking thin air? Fucking, uh, local companies don't want to fuck with you unless... See, I'm talking real fast and this, that, and the next thing. Let everybody believe that I'm on drugs and this, that, and the next thing. It's cool. It is cool to me. I don't care. Now I'm in El Cerrito. See? I was in Albany for a second. Now I'm in El Cerrito. Um, <clears throat> East Bay. I used to live in San Francisco. <clears throat> off and on my pretty much my entire life. And seeing how it's become a shithole. And London Bree, the mayor of San Francisco. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing in office, but she ain't trying to fucking fix jack shit, it seems like. <clears throat> Car break-ins. You know. What I don't understand is being homeless is one thing. And I can see if somebody's homeless, they don't bother people. They don't cause hazard. They don't cause, um, you know, like for my dad. In his mind, he thinks he's not doing anything wrong and he's fucking completely normal. But if the city of Berkeley did not clean him up every so often, he would have the sidewalk blocked off to the point where it's no longer utilized as a sidewalk anymore. It's his storage unit, basically. And that's like it, that's not, you know, convenient for air people that are trying to walk by. It's a sidewalk. It's not a storage unit. But anyways, um, yeah, San Francisco has gone downhill tremendously from when I was living there till now. I don't, I hate, I despise and hate going to San Francisco. Anytime I have to go to San Francisco, it's like, I gotta be on edge, on my toes over there because people are so fucking crazy. <laughs> You got the people that, you know, deal drugs, fucking do all sorts of illegal shit. So you got to be on edge at all given times over there. I literally, I was trying to help this Asian woman. She's from, I don't know, from, I'm assuming, I'll assume she's from China or something, but I don't know, she was Asian. So I'll put it that way. This little itty bitty Asian woman, tourist, coming to visit us, <coughs> coming to visit San Francisco, which is bad on her art, on her part. But she decided to come visit San Francisco, and in and in short terms, basically, she wasn't aware that you can't walk into t the Tenderloin openly with your phone right in your hand, acting as if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. She didn't know that, and most tourists don't know that. When you go to San Francisco and you're going into s Tenderloin area. Put your phone away. Put everything in your pockets. And unless you're a drug addict or you're trying to help out somehow, they will fuck with you. But the thing is, it's not the drug addicts that fuck with people. It's just... So, back to the story of the Chinese chick. I went over to that area because my dad said something about if you find... 
an Asian person that's selling cigarettes. They they sell cigarettes six packs for twenty bucks. So I did. I tried to go look for that in that area, and I just so happened to see that Asian woman, little petite. I don't know, five two maybe, a hundred pounds soaking wet. Out of nowhere, a group of black kids, black people, black kids, whatever. Six to eight of them, fucking. One of them grabs her phone, chase like and runs off with her phone, and she's not she's not from obviously she's not from around there, so she's obviously trying to chase him down, and I felt bad for her, and I I grabbed the kid that took her phone, and as I grabbed him, I turned around, six eight of them fucking trying to gang up on me, jump me, and. <clears throat> Nobody gives a fuck over there. No, there's no remorse. There's no code. There's no conduct. There's no respect. There's no levels of, you know, decency whatsoever in that area. So people have no morals or values anymore. We're in America, but suppose that's, this is another reason why I don't understand how is America considered a first world country? There's no moral code in most major cities nowadays. And it's not just San Francisco, L.A. It's every fucking, every major city in America is like that. I heard, well, San Francisco's a good example. But um, as far as what I'm talking about. And um, I, heard, I heard Portland, Oregon is just as bad. Seattle, Washington's fairly bad, I heard. You know, I don't know. I don't go there, but I can assume so. When drugs are allowed they're 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 uh they're lightening up the laws around drug activity so they're making it to where it doesn't matter all right you zoom um i made it to the gym i'm gonna try to work out before it gets uh stupid busy all right subscribe to my channel